Today we're going to be solving problems that involve comparison of fractions or comparing fractions. A runner runs one and two-thirds of a mile each day. The racetrack for the competition is four times the distance he runs each day. What is the distance he must run at the competition? Now our first thing that we're going to do is we're going to underline our information. So our first thing it tells us is that he runs one and two thirds of a mile each day. So that would be his daily run. His daily run here is going to be one and two thirds. Okay. Now the track it says is four times the distance. So we're going to have four times the distance that he normally runs. By setting it up as a model like this, it's easier to see what we're doing. So if he daily runs is one and two thirds, so each one of these is going to be one and two thirds. Now all we have to do is then add that all up. Okay, I'm going to separate this. I'm going to separate my whole numbers from my my fractions. I'm just going to add up the whole numbers. So, and I'm going to cross them off as I add them. So here I have my one, two, three, four. That's going to give me four total. And now I need to add my fractions. When we're adding fractions, we do not add the denominator. We only focus on adding the numerator. So the top half is what we add. The bottom half stays the same as a 3. So we're going to add our tops. So 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 2 is 6 plus 2 is 8. So that gives me 8 thirds. Four and eight thirds of a mile. Now, eight thirds is a, a fraction that is greater than one. So we're going to simplify this and we're going to take our eight thirds and we're going to think to ourselves, we're going to have our four here plus our eight thirds. So eight thirds is going to be three goes into eight two times and four three times two is six plus two is eight so four plus two and two-thirds which will then give us our answer of four plus two is six and two-thirds so our total then is six and two-thirds of a mile. Our next problem here involves a puppy. It says, my new puppy weighs three and a half pounds. When it is full grown, it will weigh five times what it weighs now. How much will my dog weigh when it is full grown? So we're going to, once again, we're going to use the bo little box model. I like the box model. Um, and so we're going to draw a box. And in this box is going to be three and a half pounds because that's how much my puppy weighs now. It will be five times that when it's full grown. So we're going to have to do five boxes five boxes and in each one of those boxes is going to have three and one half
and now I have to add these up. So once again, I'm going to add up my whole numbers first, um, and I'm going to do that by taking my threes. So I can actually just count in threes. So I can go three plus three is six plus three is nine plus three is twelve plus three is fifteen. It's going to get me fifteen. And then because it one half, I know that one half plus one half is going to be a whole. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count my whole my halves here. And so I'm going to count as one half plus one half is going to be one. One half plus one half is going to be another one and then a half. So I know right here that I have 15 plus my one from those two halves plus my one from those two halves and then I'm going to have my one half over here still that I need to add in. So then I'm going to go plus one half. And this is going to give me my answer. So I have 15 plus 1 is 16, plus 1 more is 17, 17 and a half pounds. My dog is going to weigh 17 and a half pounds. And that is using the simple bar model or box model in order to solve a comparison problem.